she's always felt very strongly about is that every kid deserves a time. Every kid deserves an opportunity to do their best. It's all about life lessons. And I, I always would say she was in the life-changing business. I don't know about that, but at least life-influencing. I was coaching with this Alan Bonnie, who had been my roommate in college at Occidental and we'd run together all four years. And, and we used to have this saying, you know, if somebody was attractive to us, we'd say, oh, I'm in love. And I said that to Alan about seeing Gwen. And Ellen Menkow, who had raced against Gwen and knew Gwen in the race walk, um, yanks me over and puts me in front of Gwen and says, my coach is in love with you. <laughs> And I had a sprite in my hand, and I didn't know what to say. I was flabbergasted, so I gave her a... I said, do you want some of my sprite? She said, no, thank you. And of course, she didn't know me from Adam. Well, her dad, I, I'm going to preface it by saying when I proposed it, uh, her dad, he said, well, she came out of the womb mature. And I think that's a pretty accurate statement, that she's always been very objective, very clear about things, and knew what she wanted to do. I always wanted to be a teacher, so... When I graduated with my education degree, there really weren't any teaching jobs in the Seattle area. So a friend who I worked with at the UW meets, he was the head coach at Issaquah. And he said, oh, why don't you come on out and volunteer? I said, okay. I thought, well, I'll come for like a, one day a week. Well, I came one day and I never left. It was just, I was hooked. You know, I think that the the way that Gwen helped build the track and field, the kind of community of kids at Esquah High School, made that your family and your kind of identity throughout high school. And I think there was part of that about Gwen that was, it wasn't this high pressure, high stakes thing. It was, I love you and I care about you and I'm gonna be here for you no matter how you do. I'm gonna be happy with you if you're successful and I'm going to, you know, put my arm around you if you're not. Either way, I'm here and I'm this kind of constant presence for her athletes and for the kids that uh, were in her program. Gwen has a track record of uh, success with the programs, whether it's the trophies in the case for the cross country team or um, individual awards for the different races. Uh, but that was never, that was never, here's my business card, here's the list of things my teams have done. Gwen was always, the kids did this. These teams achieved that. Um, she's always happy to be a part of it and, and to watch the kids celebrate, but it was not her moment to shine. It was always the kids' moment to shine. And that was it's pretty powerful to see somebody have that much respect for the kids that she coached, um, to let them own their achievements and, and be happy to know that she had played a part in it. Uh, Coach Gwen, she took me in as a freshman when I had no idea about like anything about running and she has always been like so encouraging to every runner she doesn't just focus on like the top runners she really makes us feel like a family and um, she's just been a major part of like my growth as a runner and a person running is a learning experience so kids will come back later and say that is what made the remarkable difference in my life because I learned discipline, I learned hard work um, and the value of that. Um, I learned how, how to own what I'm doing. When other people consider me to be inspirational, that's pretty huge because coaches, I mean, that's why you coach, because you want to inspire people to reach beyond what they've done to become a better person. This, to me, is probably the biggest award I've ever gotten because the meaning of being inspirational. That's, that's amazing. <laughs>